guys. Today is Wednesday, June the 15th, 2022, and this is my third video that I have put out today. Don't get used to that, guys. This is, uh, yeah, we're just we're just playing catch up um, because we missed yesterday's mods. So today, these are the new mods. We have three new maps. So the first one is the PGR Soweno, and I'm pretty sure we had this in FS19, didn't we? Um, the author is Wow Wowak. Wowak 12, 190.08 megabytes. PGR Soweno is a large farm engaged in the cultivation of plants and animal husbandry. The map includes 23 fields, including 5 meadows, 11 points of sale, 6 production buildings, sawmill, BGA, 3 forests, land previously pur purchased, 3 villages, extensive railway network. In the new player mode, you get a ready farm with machines. Have fun. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we had this in FS19. That's PGR Soweno by Wawak12. The next new map, I'm not even going to attempt. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't even know what language it is if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Um, the monitor is at VR 172.61 megabytes. Welcome to Grob Mordorf, I, I guess. I don't know. It sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings, right? All standard functions of the FS22 are installed. There are 12 fields, four metals, and four viable forest pieces. Horse pasture, cattle trade, grain silo, BGA with bunker silo, and two driving silos. Cow shed with feeding robots, sawmill, restaurant, carpentry, oil mill, grain mill, sugar factory, farmer's market, spinning mill, dairy, biomass, heating plant, bakery, and hay storage. Let's take a look at the, uh, the PDA because that's pretty interesting. Those, uh, those fields look pretty large. Um, it looks like there's only maybe three small fields, one mid-sized field, and <laughs> those are not going to be worker friendly at all. So that is Grob Mordorf by Ats VR. The third new map is Westbridge Hills 22, and this is a familiar map, right? This is from Zero Oito. 279.03 megabytes. Welcome to Westbridge Hills. The map originally from Farming Simulator 2013, now remastered, remasterized, I'm sorry, for FS22. What is included? Vehicle shop, animal dealer, BGA, sawmill, 21 fields, medium and large, 62 viable areas, production points. Westbridge Hills. Um, I, I almost thought that this was in FS19 as well. I, I could be mistaken, but I thought it was. But yeah, we have a another American map there, a familiar one from 2013, if you were playing it back then. That's Westbridge Hills 22 by Zero Oito. All right, so a little differently what we're going to do today is we're going to rip through the, uh, the updates first, and then we'll get into the rest of the mods because the updates don't take long. The first update is for the El Pego Jet M pack. Improved working behavior. John Deere 6R series got an update. Mod prepared for precision farming DLC. Front loader connection hose issue fixed and wheel options re-edited. JCB Agri Lodal got a fixed boom collision. The Lizard RT16 fixed unloading from forage harvester. Composter problem with wood chip processing is fixed. The rustic fence has shadows added. And the last update is to the fire siren Range decreased slightly, volume adjusted, and textures renewed. All right, with that out of the way, let's check out the new mods. We have the Sopima pack by Universe Simu Modding, 39.78 megabytes to download and install. So we have a mulcher that takes up two slots. Um, we actually have two mulchers. Uh, so let's see here. Did it say that? Specialized in the manufacture, uh, a 10 meter wide front rear cover shredder mulcher. Okay, so one goes in the front, one goes in the rear. Both of them take up two slots. So then we're moving on. We have a four meter wide foldable roller that's gonna take up six slots. Then we have a couple cultivators. We have a rear cultivator that's gonna take up nine slots and a front cultivator that takes up four slots. Then we have a slurry transfer take, tank, sorry, that's gonna take up four slots and a fertilizer tipper that's also gonna take up four slots so let's just take a look at the other pack there that's everything you get in this pack a pretty nicely done 
some uh, interesting stuff in there for sure. That's the Sopima pack, a uh, universe simu modding. Next up, we have the New Holland T7 HD Tier 4F by STV modding. 16.62 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up 13 slots. Price is $210,000. Power is 288 to 313 horse. We have design color configurations, tire configurations, animated doors, new parts, motor configuration, room configuration, and daylight LED. That's the New Holland T7 HD Tier 4F by STV Modding. Next up is the Lizard P4 1.7 Turbo Farmer by ARM Team. 11.05 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up six slots, up to seven meter lift height with rear pivot axle. Features body color configurations, rim color, design configurations, rear weights, rear three point hitch, wheels configuration, cabin suspension, fully animated, $90,000, 140 horsepower. That's the Lizard P4 1.7 Turbo Farmer by ARM Team. Next up is another mod by ARM Team. This is the Crone Big Pack 120 80, 6.21 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up six slots. Oh, you know what, guys? Hold on. The, uh, <laughs> the Turbo Farmer is eight slots. This takes up six slots. Sorry about that. I got a little backwards there. Okay, so this is six slots. A great square bale that produces. 1.2 by 0.9 bales with a length of 1.8, 2.2, and 2.4 meters. Features double and single axle versions, body color configurations, wheel configurations, fully animated, capacity 4,000 liters, price $12,000. Alright, here we have the Lizard Trailer by Dutch Modding. This is going to be 17.24 megabytes to download and install. Trailer can be used to transport products with auto load function. That's pretty awesome. We're getting a lot of auto load stuff for our console, so data. The price is 74,500, capacity is 20,000 liters, auto load functions, seeds, wool, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, lime, solid fertilizer, chicken food, horse food, bread, board, silage, butter, <laughs> silage, butter, <laughs> okay, I think there should be a comma in there, cake, canola oil, cereals, cheese, chocolate, clothes, fabrics, flour, furniture, grape juice, lettuce, olive oil, raisin, mineral feed, strawberry, sugar, sunflower oil, tomatoes, eggs, road salt, square bales, and round bales. So. Let's uh, talk about this for a little bit here. The bale trailer is going to take up eight slots. Then you have the viable products trailer that's going to take up 12 slots. And then you have the production pallets trailer that's going to take up 10 slots. So when you do the viable products trailer, you have to actually choose what product it is that you want to load up in this. So it's not like you can just buy this and load up anything you want. You're going to have to change this each time you want to load a, uh, a different product. So just keep that in mind, but it's still a very cool mod and auto load is always much appreciated for us console users. That's the Lizard Trailer by Dutch Modding. Next up is the Chrome TX460D by LS Agrar Olay. 6.89 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up seven slots. Price is $87,000. Capacity is 46,000 liters. Here we have the Big Bags Cattle Pack by FSG Modding. 0.96 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up one slot. Easily add the correct amount of mineral feed to your mixer for optimal health for your cattle. You can also purchase big bags of ready mix TMR to expedite feeding. Price, 1020 or 1120 Capacity is 500 liters or 600 liters. That's the Big Bags Cattle Pack by FSG Modding. Here we have the Lizard Weight by Agrar Modding, 0.96 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up one slot. 500 kilograms, three point linkage, price is $1,200. Moving on to the placeables portion of the video, we have the Old Cow Barn. Cow blah, blah, blah. Okay, mouth not working. Old Cow Barn by Razak, 9.54 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up 29 slots. An Old Cow Barn without outdoor area price $164,000 upkeep is $150 a day and it'll hold 200 cattle so this is one of those ones where cattle are always in the barn they don't have a pasture that's the old cow barn by Razak next up is the Brazilian cow barn by Mod Hub Brazil 1.13 megabytes to download and install this is going to take up three slots price is $155,000 it'll hold 150 cows Feed capacity is 18,250 liters. Water capacity is 12,000 liters. And milk reserve capacity is 20,500 liters. This is an open air kind of cow pasture. As you can see, no barn for these guys. 
or Gales, I should say. That's the Brazilian Cow Barn by Madhub Brazil. Next up is the barn, and I mean, I, I never know how to pronounce letters that have little, you know, little things over them, so I'm going to say it's Gracchus and Philippe, 10.36 megabytes to download and install. 10 slots, barn for your machines, crops, and bales. $35,500, $20 a day for upkeep, pardon me. That is the barn by Gracchus and Philippe. Okay, so this one is one that's going to catch everybody's eye, I feel. This is the all-in-one production by The Lort. 1.80 megabytes. This is going to take up seven slots. In an all-in-one production, you can produce almost anything. Everything from cakes to furniture is included. $25,000. Maintenance, $1 to $10 an hour. That's, that's interesting. So the thing is about this, guys, it's going to produce all of the base game products. None of the modded stuff, so just keep that in mind. But, you know, it's going to produce everything uh, that your dairy could produce, your bakery, your uh, um, your lumber mill, your your fabrics, all of that you can do in this one place. So that's pretty cool. That is the all-in-one production by the Lort. Next up in the same vein and by the same modder, we have the Animal Product Warehouse. 0.10 megabytes to download and install. This only takes up two slots. In the Animal Product Warehouse, you can store eggs, honey, and wool pallets. You can store a million liters of each product. Price $2,500, maintenance $1 an hour. Important, the exit mode must be set to warehouse to store pallets. So, this is going to be another one of those mods that is going to help you with your, uh, your pallet limit if you're on console. And they even have a pallet limit on, on PC now, I believe, as well. It's a lot higher. But still, this is going to take care of that. With holding a million liters, it's uh, it's going to have you pretty well off, I think. And last but certainly not least, we have the windmill, also by the Lord. 2.88 megabytes to download and install. This is going to take up six slots. Pretty cool. In this windmill, you can produce flour, but there's one more special feature. You can now also make flour from corn, sunflower, soybeans, and canola. Price is $50,000, and it's going to cost $24 a month for the upkeep. Alright guys, so that is all of the mods and updates and maps that we have today for June the 15th. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope I'm not uh, overdoing it with the videos today. We're, we're, we'll get back to normal starting tomorrow. We're not going to have a, a ton of videos. Like I said, we're just we're playing, trying to play catch up today since I missed the mods yesterday. So yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day guys and we'll see you next time.